Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. I am doing a gym vlog, like a productive weekend morning gym vlog. I don't really know. But I'm going to take you guys with me to the gym to see like my whole routine. I think I'm going to hit a glute focus leg day. So come with me to pick out my gym fit. So I'm moving in like a month, so my closet is a little bit of a jump scare. Um, there is shit everywhere. But I know what I want to wear, so it should be fine, it should be easy. But don't judge my closet, okay? Okay. I actually just got this shirt from Sworn, I think it's called. Sworn to Us, or Sworn Us? No, it's called Sworn to Us, okay sworn to us i got this at the back of the shirt it says sometimes life is about risking everything for a dream no one can see but you sworn inspired the uninspired i think this shirt is so cute so i'm gonna throw this on top of a gymshark bandeau i think maybe this lazuli sports bra both simple and then I think I'm going to just throw on some navigation shorts. A lot of my laundry is not in here. It's clean. I need to hang it up. But I think this color is the closest match that I have. So I'm going to do these shorts. Navigation pro shorts. Probably this sports bra. I might like do something cute with the front of it like put it all over to one shoulder and then throw this pump cover on top I honestly don't know if this is cute or if I need to turn this back around like normally so I'm gonna check hold on okay wait gym fit is so fucking cute top is from Lazuli shorts are navigation pro I'm gonna throw some black socks on let me put this top cover on for y'all. I'm so excited. I love me a cute gym fit. Like, it just really sets the tone. Good enough. <laughs> so, if this is a gym fit, I'm gonna throw on some socks. Okay, update. I ended up switching the bra to the Aox Jocks. I don't know what this bra is called, but it's just like a crisscross in the front. And then it's... I don't know if y'all can see that. It's super strappy in the back, but I just took both sides and put it across one shoulder. Pro shorts, have on Lazuli crew socks, and then my Converse, and then just this sworn to us pump cover. Super cute. I am about to go mix and take my pre-workout cocktail. And then I'm actually going to a new gym today. So this gym, I'm actually going to be training my clients at. But I haven't actually done a workout there myself. I start tomorrow. So I thought, why not like familiarize myself with the gym today? Um, kind of figure out where everything is at. So we're going to go hit our glute day at my new gym. I'm taking you guys with me. So let's go get some pre. My supplements are from EHP Labs. I use the non-stem oxy shred in the flavor Kiss My Peach. I use Acido L-carnitine for extra fat burn. And then I use Pride Pre-Workout in the flavor Rainbow Candy. It is so bomb. This combo here gives me the best workout, best glute pump. Moving on, I am foam rolling. So I'm foam rolling my hamstrings. I also did my quads. I didn't show that. I also foam rolled my lower back. I just do this to really get loosened up, warmed up before my lift. I don't want to be stiff, so it's feeling really good. Here I grabbed a kettlebell and I am doing some abductor rockers. So these are going to be for my hip flexors. I have the weight right next to my hip. I have my knees bent a little bit past 90 degrees. I'm just lunging out nice and slow, really feeling that stretch. I do this on each side, like three to five reps. I'll move my foot back and kind of do the same thing. 
again just loosening up my hips for this glute workout. Okay, now these are adductor rockers. This is for my growing and my hip flexor. So one knee is bent at 90, the other leg is completely straight. That is key here, keep the leg completely straight. You are gonna sit your butt back onto your heels. It's a really slow motion. You should feel this stretch in your growing and your hip flexor. And then you're gonna shift all of your body weight forward. Again, I do about three to five reps on each side and then switch. I do go through this two times. I'm gonna throw on a mini band. I'm gonna do some lateral walks. The goal here is to keep some tension in the band the entire time. So notice how my feet aren't completely touching. I see people do this all the time and their feet like literally come together as they step together. That's not the point because you aren't keeping any tension on the band. So I always think and I always tell my clients, big step, small step, big step, small step, big step, small step. I also hinge at the hips first, so I'm pushing my butt back, keeping my back flat, and then doing a big step, small step. I go all the way down the turf and do the same thing all the way back. Your booty will be burning when you're finished. I then move on to some monster walks. So I do start off with the same hip hinge, really push your butt back. You're gonna have a slight bend in your knee, this time I'm stepping outwards, but big step out, small step. And I'm going to reverse it on the way back, still keeping my back nice and flat. Big step, small step. Again, you're going to feel this in your glutes, getting the glutes super fired up, nice and warm for this glute workout. This last thing is like a three-way abduction, essentially. So you start with the band above your knees. You are making very small range of motion. You're kicking out at a diagonal, at a horizontal, and then backwards at a diagonal. I'm gonna do 10 on each side, flip around and do the same thing. Horizontal, backwards, forward. Make sure the forward and the backwards are both at a diagonal, 10 on each leg. Make sure you're not leaning forward also, like your body is upright, your core is tight, all that good stuff. All right, the workout. <laughs> so I started off with some super light hip thrusts. I think I did 10 to 12 here. This is 135. Um, even grip on the bar. I am coming all the way down and going all the way up, full range of motion. And I am squeezing my glutes at the top of the rep. Make sure you're not just jumping into your reps. You're actually getting some warm up reps in like I am here. I did multiple warm up sets. This next set is going to be at 225. So same thing. My knees are bent at 90 degrees. I'm coming all the way down and then exploding up and squeezing my glutes at the top. It's a very explosive, powerful movement, but it's also controlled. I'm not wobbling the bars and moving all over the place. Very strict. My whole body is stiff. Um, I'm getting that full range of motion. I'm adding another 45 plate on each side. So this is 315. I think I did eight reps here, six to eight. And then I did another set at 405 that I didn't record. All the way up, all the way down, squeezing the glutes at the top. All right, we are moving on to RDLs, but first, I take off my shoes. Always take off your shoes for RDLs. All right, so slight knee bend. We're focusing on a hip hinge. What I mean by that, we are pushing our hips all the way back. I'm keeping the barbell extremely close to my shins. On some of these reps, I actually like knocked my shin with the barbell, like it rubbed up against it. That's how close the barbell is to my body. But I am shifting my hips all the way back. Once they stop moving, I am exploding up and squeezing my glutes at the top. I added a 25 pound plate for my second rep, and then I added a 10 pound plate on top of this one for my third and fourth set. I didn't record those, but slow on the way down, feeling that contraction in your glutes and your hammies, and then squeezing at the top. 
My next exercise was reverse lunges. I used 45 pound dumbbells here. All of my weight is on the foot that is staying stationary on the ground and my opposite leg is stepping back. I did eight reps on each side. I like to stick with one leg at a time. So I did all of my reps on the right side first and then I switched and I did all of my reps on my left leg. Making sure my core is nice and tight. I'm not wobbly. Again, squeezing my glutes at the top. Moving on, we're gonna go with some kettlebell swings. Nice and powerful. These are not a squat. I hate seeing people squat their kettlebell swings. It is the same hip hinge as those RDLs. I did 10 reps there and I supersetted this with some seated leg curls. I have 100 pounds on the machine. I love seated leg curls so much. I think I did 10 to 12 reps here. But that is the end of my glute workout. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.